Hello, let's find out how to save the player's name and use it later. You might want to do this for your quiz, for making a quiz. Um, the way to ask a player's name is using the prompt macro. We've seen that before. Um, so PMRPT colon. Um, prompt macro, it's important to remember, takes two things. First is the question, what's your name? And the second one is what the default value is, what will be in that fill-in box at the bottom um, for at the beginning. Um, we probably want this to start off blank, so we're just going to put a blank thing in quotes. Um, and it's always good after writing a macro to test it out. What's your name? And see, this is blank. Um, get my name, and it shows up. Now, I don't want it to show up here. I want it to show up later on. Um, take the quiz. Um, uh, but I don't want to have to write the whole quiz in order to uh, test this out. So I'm going to also add a um, an option to skip to the end. Um, and I can take that out later. So right now that's sort of a nice feature that'll help me uh, test something out. Um, so what I want to do is I want to say at the end, I want to say something like, um, well, if it was me, it would be, you know, mixed fractal. You've got um, dollar score points. Um, I haven't made that variable yet. Um, but except I don't want this to be my name. I want it to be whatever name somebody put in. So uh, a good variable name for that would be name um, or player. Um, actually, I kind of like player. So I'm going to do dollar sign because all variables I'm trying to have to start with a dollar sign. Dollar sign player, you got score points. That's going to be the end. Um, so we can test it out. Um, typing in my name. Um, I skip to the end. Of course, it's zero, you got zero points because it hasn't saved this anywhere. So the other thing I need to do with the prompt is I need to save that value. Um, now, the way we save something in a variable is we set the variable. So parentheses set. Um, again, our variable name has to start with a dollar sign. We already made the, we made, we thought of what the name for this one was, which is player. Set player to, we need to use that keyword, T-O. Um, and what I want to set it to is actually not anything that I know right now. I want to set it to whatever that prompt gives me. So I'm going to take that prompt and I'm going to move it. So I'm going to set the player to the result of the prompt, to the prompt macro. Um, test it out. Typing my name. I've gotten pretty fast at that. Set zero. Oh, there's a problem. Can anybody see what the problem is? I see what the problem is. The problem is that I didn't write another closing parenthesis. So I really need to have two of those. Um, Test it out. I'm going to skip to the end because there's no quiz. I got zero points, but it is saying my name. And if I went back and did this again and told it instead that my name was, um, uh, you know, uh, best. Best, you got zero points. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's how you do that.